close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video and today I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my beauty room You guys have been wanting this ever since I did my apartment tour My room was not ready yet But I asked you guys if when it was ready you would want a beauty room tour or office tour You know just a tour of this room and everyone was like yes So here it is I am such a perfectionist though and a lot of the stuff I still want to improve on like I want to get a chair for this corner I want to organize my makeup differently So I wanted to wait a little bit longer to film this for you guys, but I probably would end up up never doing it if I waited to do all those little changes because I just always find something else to work on so I'm just gonna show you guys how it is right now I do show you guys my makeup collection in this video I don't think it's anything insane compared to some of the stuff I've seen on YouTube like I'm so jealous of some of these girls makeup collection like it's goals but I do have more makeup than the average person and that's because I do work in the beauty industry and I have been for a little over a year I would say I do freelance work as well so a lot of my makeup goes towards that and just getting new products to review and just know about all these different products so I do have more makeup than the average person but that's because it's my job so keep that in mind when you are seeing all my makeup and I'm just makeup obsessed so it is what it is this is my collection this is my beauty room this is where I film my videos edit my videos and just hang out and get ready so let's walk in shall we this is basically Basically what it looks like from the door. Ta-da! We have my big gray carpet here. It's just in the center of the room. It makes it a lot more cozy. I got that from Bed Bath & Beyond. Basically the color scheme of my room is gray and white with some gold accents. So let's get started. On this wall we have my big floor length mirror. If you guys watch my boyfriend's vlogs you know that one day I took over and bought this giant mirror at HomeSense. It was on sale for like $94 so I thought that was awesome. And then this is just some fake plants that I also got at HomeSense the same day with the vase that was also on sale because it has a chip on it right there. So it was like 50% off but obviously you don't even see it when I turn it around. And then right over here I got this big shelving unit from Bed Bath & Beyond as well. So on on this I have my planner and then just a little notebook and then this is meant to hold a plant but it's really small I didn't realize how small it was I bought it online from Urban Outfitters so I just use it as like a little knick-knack type of thing on top of there here are all my watches that I wear the most often here I just have some extra jewelry that I like to keep on display in this I just have a bunch of my glasses a lot of them are from Aldo and then I have a random wallet in there here I got this from Walmart it's a little succulent plant that matches my theme with its little pot so I really like that there and then in here I have some banking documents my camera and really just random stuff in there we're not gonna look through that I got these also from Walmart when I got that they're just little decorative candle holders and this is a picture of Charlie and I at a semi-formal and I absolutely love this picture so I keep it here so on the top here I have my cinema light box I got this I think it was from Urban Outfitters I can change out the letters and what it says so I really like that I think it's so cute but I've seen some DIY light box tutorials on YouTube so if you don't want to spend the money then I guess check out those tutorials but I'll try and leave the links to as much as the stuff as I can in my description box. I got this also from Urban Outfitters. It does light up, but I don't have batteries in it right now. And then here I keep my necklaces that I wear the most often. They're mostly like the short little dainty ones. I love this one. I got it from Fossil. It's a rose gold feather. And then the rest of them are mostly just from Aldo. I keep an extra mirror here because the one I have over there is like super, super close up. And then on top I have my marble mirror. I did a DIY video on this. So I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to see that. And then I just have an Ikea light. To be honest, I got this to light up my old bedroom and in my room here. I don't know really where to put them so I just have them around and then before we get to all the good stuff I'm gonna show you guys Ta -da! another mirror this one though is special because it has all my jewelry inside of it yes this is like the mother load of jewelry right here keep in mind I worked at Aldo for two years and I got a really good discount so all this jewelry is accumulated over two years and like a 50% off discount but up here I have all my rings and then here I tried to hang most of my big chunky necklaces I could obviously use some more little hangers I wish this side had some more hangers like that but it doesn't this is where I'm supposed to put my earrings the only thing is with all my earrings I do keep the packaging and I always put it back in the packaging I find that way I don't lose them and then on this side I put the long length necklaces and they just hang on the little hangers here so that's basically it for that it also has a little lock which I like I got this off of Amazon I'll try and find the seller that I use down below but I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it because it was a little while ago and then in this corner, I just have a little stool and I put this like faux sheepskin thing on top of it. This is not white. So just throwing it over top just lets it go with the theme of my room. This actually has storage in it. 
I just threw in a bunch of winter socks in there and who knows what. Sometimes I like to use it as a footstool when I'm editing and I just threw these pillows on top of it to make it look more comfy and it matches my room theme. We've got the gray pillow with the white and gold pillow. I'm gonna leave that for last. Let's go over to my closet. I know I showed you guys a little bit of my closet in my house tour video, but I did change some things so I'll show you guys again. I have my little stool there for when I wanna get up and get my shoes and when I wanna get up and get my bags. But basically I just have all my heels and fancy shoes there. All my fancy clothes here, like my blazers and my dresses and fancy rompers, things like that. Mostly what I've changed is the way I've organized my hats. So what I did so I can see them all and they're organized and not just put in a giant pile like they used to be, is I use these really, really thin hangers and then I use clothespins so then I could hang my hats up with the hangers. I think it's a really nice way to keep my hats organized and so I can actually see them and use them. Otherwise, I'll just forget about them. Here, I just have random stuff. Like this is my medicine drawer, random school stuff, and then pencil cases, I think, in there. And then in here, I have some more jewelry. You guys are probably thinking, wow, this girl has so much jewelry, but I haven't organized any of this yet. It's literally all just like Aldo jewelry and mostly just my bracelets in here. And then the bottom of my closet here, I have my backpack that I just hang there. This is what I keep all my freelance stuff in. So it's pretty much always ready to go whenever I have a freelance gig. It's just this big clear bag from BH Cosmetics that literally fits everything that I need for my freelances. And then in this huge box here, I have a bunch of fall clothes that I've recently got. I'm gonna make a fall clothing haul or a lookbook or something along those lines. So I didn't wanna lose track of all the new stuff that I've gotten. I'm waiting on a few more stuff, so I'm just leaving it there until they come Come and then I'll film it. This is my filming area slash makeup station slash makeup storage area. So basically all the big furniture you see here, like the desk and the drawers and the chair are all from Ikea. Um, I have no idea what that chair is called, but it's basically like a white pod. It's really cute and pretty comfortable, but I put this right on top so it can be a little bit more comfortable. And I don't know where this is from because my mom gave it to me. She has like so many of them in her house. And on my desk, I have a simple human mirror. So this I like to use when I'm filming. It's really, really close. Up, which is necessary because the camera just picks up that much more so it's nice to have a really close-up mirror and then on this right side here I have all my brushes these are my eye brushes my face brushes and then these are like my foundation or liquid brushes and I just hold them in these IKEA plant holders in this one I do have like plant beads or whatever you put in vases so then these can stand up oh yeah you kind of can see them in there I got it from the dollar store and I just poured them in there so then my makeup brushes can stand upright and you can find them a lot easier that way and then here I got this from Walmart and I thought it was so cute because it matches my gold and white theme of my room and there I just keep a bunch of my eye pencils I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond in there I just keep my Kylie lip kits that I bought some of her metallic lip kits and then these are a bunch of Mac Velvety's lipsticks and then in the back of this drawer I have all my lip glosses they're not really organized very well I'm waiting on a lipstick tower and then that way I'll be able to organize them a little bit better but again in the back there I have a bunch of lip glosses and in this bottom drawer it's really really random right now in the front here I have max extra dimension eyeshadows I really like these because you can use them wet or dry and they're super super pigmented I think they're really pretty so I have them in the package most of my makeup I actually keep it in the package I just find it a lot easier to store that way and to organize here are max into the well eyeshadows these were limited edition and these can also be used wet to be used as eyeliners here are some more extra dimension shadows but they're not in the box here are a bunch of my pigments that I just keep in little sample containers to save room and then in here again I have some more pigments. This is from the holiday collection. On this side of my desk, I have my marble DIY tray that I made a video on a while back. And then I have the marble coasters to match. But basically in here is just the stuff that I use every day or the stuff I want to remind myself to use. Like this concealer is almost done, so I wanted to use the rest of it. I left it in there. The foundation that I'm currently using is in there. My perfume, obviously, because I use that every day. Then I have my tweezers. I recently bought this, so I put it there to remind myself to use it. It's the Benefit Air Patrol Eye Primer. And then in here, I just keep some brow stuff and a bunch of eyeliner pens. I usually set it right on top of my Kleenex box because I feel like you always need a tissue whenever you're doing makeup or anything, especially since all my stuff is white. And then in here is where I keep a bunch of my beauty sponges and I also keep my chapsticks in here. On my giant Alex drawers here, I have kind of my lipstick area. So I have my giant MAC lipstick right here. I actually got this when I worked at MAC. I just asked for it when they were throwing it away and ended up being able to keep it. Here are the lipsticks that I use the most often. Um, this is the limited edition Brianna one. And then under here, I just keep some items that are really, really cute looking. And then here are most of my lip pencils. I have a ton of MAC lip pencils. A lot of my products are 
from Mac because I used to work there. So if you notice that, I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just got a good discount and I used to work there. So most of my stuff is from Mac. Again, I used the plant stuffer stuff. I have no idea what it's called, but I got that from Dollarama and it's easy to just shove them in there without them flopping around. Behind here, I just kind of hide my stationary items that I use a lot while I'm at my desk, but I don't really think that they're cute. So I just kind of hide them back there. And then again, here I have a lot of my lipsticks and both of these don't fit all of my lipsticks and I want my lipsticks all in one spot. So I ordered a lipstick tower and a bunch of drawer organizers that just haven't arrived yet and I don't know when they're going to arrive, but you guys have really requested this video. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm currently organizing it and who knows, maybe in the future if I do drastically change the way I'm organizing my makeup, I'll make another video. Here I have a bunch of Lime Crime liquid lipsticks and then let's go to my drawers. I'll show you the drawers on my desk first. So in these I basically have everything that I use every day or the most often is just right here. Charlie and I ended up buying the wrong cutlery tray so I ended up just throwing it in this drawer to help organize a little bit better. Here in this compartment I have a bunch of mascaras that I like to use frequently and then here I just have some primers. You'll notice that with most of my primers that I use daily they're meant to mattify and help conceal pores because I do have really large pores and oily skin so that's why I like those type of primers best. And then here I have some eye primers that I use all the time. Here is where I keep my like eye cream stuff and then right here I just have the two eyeliners that I'm using the most lately and then here is my brow stuff that I use very often depending on how I want my brows to look that day if it's intense or more natural I'll just choose between those products there here is really just random stuff I have a handheld mirror I keep this here because I use it pretty often it's kind of to pluck away any like peach fuzz and then this other drawer here is again the stuff that I reach for the most often recently and then this is my palette of eyeshadows that I use the most often so I have all my favorite eyeshadows in that I have the Mac Pro conceal and correct palette then I have my favorite Mac blushes and face powders there and then I pretty much use this every day it's the Anastasia powder contour kit modern Renaissance palette I just got that so I've been trying to play with it and try it out and then in this giant disgusting bin I have my face powders the new ABH foundation stick to try it out some BB creams that I use pretty often when I'm not trying to do too much with my face and then a mixing palette so I don't get my hands dirty so now let's go through these drawers honestly there's a lot better ways for me to organize these I've seen other videos on YouTube where people just organize them so well but I'll just show you what I have for now because I'm still searching for better ways to organize them. In this top drawer I have most of my MAC lashes. I have some drugstore lashes in the back. I organize my MAC lashes by the number that they are. So it starts from one and then goes upwards. In the second drawer is really just a bunch of random stuff. I told you that all my lipsticks don't fit on those organizers. So I have pretty much the overflow here. I have some limited edition MAC foiled eyeshadows. Then I have extra blushes here. They're all from MAC as well. So again, you see I keep a lot of the boxes of my stuff so I can read what they are and it helps me find the blush or product, whatever, a lot easier. Here's a Sigma blush that I have. Then on this side I have two cream blushes from MAC. This one says it's not for sale because I got it as an incentive. So in here, I just have any of my single eyeshadows. I have some Makeup Geek pans right here that I need to buy a palette for, and then some random eyeliners. So then in this drawer, I have a bunch of my face powders. I have bronzers, I have highlighters. This is the Mac and Zach Posen collection. It's a bronzer and a blush in there. Then I have a light color corrector from BH Cosmetics. In this next drawer, I have all of my mascaras that I have yet to use. I have all my eye glosses. Here I have some cream contour and highlight sticks and also a concealer. And then I have some liquid illuminators that I like to mix in foundation sometimes to make them more glowy. All of these little plastic trays you see here I got from Ikea. I actually don't really like them in these drawers because you can see they don't fit perfectly. So I'm working on finding something that would fit in there that organizes a little bit better. And then this next drawer is where I keep all my palettes pretty much. Shein XO palette, Carly Bio palette, of course, I have to support fellow YouTubers. And then this I bought from Amazon is an empty eyeshadow case and I just put my pressed pigments in there. So these were all loose pigments and I ended up pressing them. So they're a lot more convenient and easy to use. I also have my pressed glitters. I did make a DIY video on this if you wanna see how to press your glitters. This is the MAC Mellow Moderns palette. If I'm doing freelance work, I'll usually bring this because you can pretty much do any look with it. I have ABHs brow pro palette it's like a hundred dollars but you get literally every single eyebrow color and then on this corner is pretty much all of my mac times nine palettes so they're really small and convenient to bring for freelance as well because they don't take up a lot of room and you get basically all of your color schemes here so i've got the neutral palette the navy palette the dusty rose palette and the burgundy palette then i also have the one from the flamingo park collection and also the pastel times nine which is just pastel colors and the next one is where I keep a bunch of my extra foundations. These are ones that I've either stopped using or want to start using. They're just kind of thrown in there. 
drawer here is where I keep all of my extra stuff of the things that I use the most. When I quit Mac, I actually bought all the stuff that I use really often, like the Mac Fix Plus. But you guys know that I love their makeup wipes. I've talked about it before. And then I have a bunch of extra lip pencils from the ones that I use most often because I go through them really, really quickly. And then in this last drawer is literally just random stuff. It's where I like to keep all my empty containers for when I have enough to take them back to Mac for a lipstick. It's really dirty, but when I travel, that's what I'll keep my makeup in. So that's basically it. So that's the end of the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you weren't too disappointed with my beauty room because I know it's not as glamorous as so many of the other ones on YouTube. I'm definitely working towards it though. Let me know down below if you do have any more organizational tips for me. I'd really appreciate it. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like. When I do get new makeup, you guys are the first to know because I always put it in my Snapchat or talk about it on Twitter. So follow my other social handles if you want to see my collection grow. And all the stuff that I talked about today will be on my blog, sylviagani.com. I'll probably go more in depth and give you a link to where you can find a lot of my organizers and stuff like that on there. So the link will be in the description. Go check it out if you want to know more about what you saw today. That's all for now. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. So I have to spray the area with hairspray and let it sit for 15 minutes.